now because I got knocked down around June, so we get afterwards. So, so I don't know. You know, either, my my biggest impression was again the way he stays committed to the fight. Well, he didn't just stay in the fight because you stay in the fight. Sometimes you get in, the, you get up, and you you talk and you stay in the fight because it's your responsibility. He stayed in the fight, and then he kept. He stayed committed to, to winning the fight. Really not, how difficult is it to stay committed when, when you're down in round two? It's very difficult. Like I said before, I mean, you got a guy who's known as a destroyer. destroyer. You got a guy who's you watch it by 20,000 people screaming at you. have been down. The guy who you know finishes guys. And you're on the canvas getting up, looking at him across the ring. That's what's waiting for you. The guy you know is a destroyer. You gotta, your mind is gonna, is gonna mess with you in that moment. You know, most guys are finished right there. It's so difficult to overcome that particular moment. That moment right there finishes fights because fighters beat themselves in that moment. And so you stay committed, and you win the next round, you get a little bit more confidence. Touch around, you get another, throw another round where he doesn't touch you much. You know, and little by little, you start believing again. You know what I mean? And maybe the other guy might, you might have a little bit of doubt creeping in the other guy. Again, it's a mental battle as much as a physical battle. It's a war that's won with little battles, just like a real war. A war is a one with little battles. It's a little battle.